I told you people, I told every single one of you people about Lil Wayne for all these years. I said that Lil Wayne is not going to be around forever. I told every single one of you the Lil Wayne dig riders for over the years who said to me that I'm a hater, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm crazy, I'm just an old head and all that, right? That just sit back and listen to Tupac and Biggie. I told every single one of you Lil Wayne fans for about 10 years now, almost, that Lil Wayne is not going to be around forever. And now look at him. Now look at this guy. Lil Wayne, ever since like he became big, a lot of these Lil Wayne fans have been saying that Lil Wayne is going to be around forever. They all believed in this bullshit hype that he's a gangbanger. He's the greatest rapper alive. There ain't no way Lil Wayne is going to be replaced. He's going to be, he's the next Tupac. All this, Lil Wayne is all hype but no substance. That's all Lil Wayne is. He ain't, I, I, he makes the same old songs, okay? I've already made, like, I talked about Lil Wayne so many times, whether it was a video about him or not. It didn't matter. I've said all I have to say about Lil Wayne, but I'm only making this video because I saw uh, like, like a tweet on Twitter, right? It was trending on Twitter about Lil Wayne legal issues, right? He's facing some very heavy legal charges right now. He's been in trouble for illegal drug substance. He's been in trouble for illegally purchasing guns. Um, yeah, and he also, like a dumbass that he is, sold a hundred million dollars of his money he sold oh my god he sold all of his masters to UMG Universal Musical Group why would you do that Wayne you retard you moron why would you do that next year January or whatever they're gonna finally finally sentence him to prison 10 years in prison he's gonna serve 10 years in prison that's longer than his last prison sentence that he did earlier of last decade that dude, he's going to be in there for a long time. He's going to be, like, pushing 50 by the time he gets out of prison. Unless he gets a parole or something. I don't know. But that guy, that guy, oh, my God. And then when he gets out of prison, what is he going to do? The only thing he can do is retire and file for bankruptcy because he doesn't have any businesses all this time. All this time, all that money that he accumulated with his masters and stuff, he didn't create no businesses. He didn't do anything to branch out his name whenever, like, when, let's say if he gets tired of making music, right? He gets tired of the music industry and he wants to go and do stuff, something else, like what Ice Cube did or LL Cool J or Ice-T. They became actors. But Lil Wayne, what has he done? All this time, the only time you heard about Lil Wayne from the time of 2013 when his albums wasn't selling that well anymore, his mixtapes weren't really pushing that much weight anymore as far as like, you know, sales, all the way up until now, he hasn't done anything but just been controversial with the Black Lives Matter, stepping on the American flag supposedly, and saying stupid songs, saying stupid stuff in the songs like, I beat the pussy up like Emmett Till, and I don't under, I, I, to this very day, I still don't understand why do Lil Wayne stands think that Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper alive? Cause he's not. I listen to his his freestyles. His freestyles are so garbage. They're not good. People think that that guy is really great. I've even talked to people that said my favorite rapper is Lil Wayne. I'm like, why do you like that clown? Why, what's so great about Lil Wayne? He doesn't make any beats. He's not a producer. He's not a musician. He can't play any instruments. He tried to play guitars. With the, he tried to come out with the, the Rebirth album. Try to switch over to rock music. And all the rock and metal heads were like, fuck this guy. He can't, he can't even play the fucking guitar. There was one time he was on the stage. That was an embarrassment. He had the guitar. And he was just touching the strings. Like, like there was one point where it they got to the guitar part. Because he was performing Prom Queen, which was pretty much like his rock song, which was not really a rock song. It was still rap, but it just had a little bit of rock, so like like 
solos on it and stuff like that and riffs so he was on the stage and he was touching like the guitar strings i'm like who plays a guitar like that anybody who knows about musical theory and damn sure knows how to play the guitar whether it is the acoustic guitar or the electric guitar the whatever bass guitar whatever they will know that this guy does not know how to play the guitar i saw him like singing while playing the guitar that dude cannot sing he uses auto tunes he has a horrible voice the motherfucker cannot sing and he can't play the guitar so that goes back to what i said how is he a great musical artist how is he a great rapper when he comes out with some of the dumbest lines in the history i heard somebody named goli the kid used to write lyrics for this dude and i can believe that i really can you want to know why because this guy how the fuck are you going to say that you're the greatest rapper alive, but your rhymes are so horrible? First of all, he bites other lyrics from other rappers like Jay-Z and stuff like that, which who also bites rhymes from other rappers, but Lil Wayne does it even more. And he doesn't credit that person. He acts like he's so original. And, you know, Gully the Kid, he came out and said, yo, I used to write lyrics for Lil Wayne. And people say, no, oh, uh, Lil Wayne, he's so cold. His his lyrics are so hardcore, man. You should listen to his freestyles. And all he raps about is fucking with girls, having sex with women, drugs. How he's a, he sold crack. He's a gangbanger. He's a drug dealer. He's a he's this. He's that. He's a blood and all that. And he he's a pimp. He's a player. He'll shoot you. He'll kill you with his Glock and all that. And his his Dracos and all that. This dude is so phony. The only person he ever shot was himself like an idiot. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I do believe that damn lean got to his damn brain. A hundred million dollars that he sold? Holy hell, man. Why would you do that? Now when he comes out of prison, he gonna be broke. Because all the money that he spent on legal charges, okay? He, he's not making no money through his music. The only last time I heard his music being sold on the radio, like as a, him as a solo artist, was that song that came out of the Carter Five. And I don't even think that song ever got any awards. He stopped getting awards and stopped being nominated on awards. He started feuding with Birdman, which really killed his career even further. Because that was the only reason why people was listening to, 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 to Lil Wayne was because Birdman knew how to promote his shit. But now he doesn't have that anymore. Now he don't he doesn't have people promote his music anymore. Now look at him. Nobody cares about Lil Wayne. The last time he ever was on the like relevant was when he endorsed Donald Trump, which I don't care. If he liked Trump, that's him. But you know, Lil Wayne wanted to do the platinum plan and all that with Ice Cube and stuff like that to give back to the hood and all that, which is nice on Lil Wayne's behalf, I guess. But as far as him as a musical artist, come on. Who cared about Lil Wayne? Nobody buys his shit. Nobody's going out there searching for his mixtape. Uh, none of that. Nobody cares. So all you people out there that said Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper alive, he's the next Tupac, and that includes Lil Wayne himself, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Because I say that because all you Lil Wayne stands out there really believe that dude. When he used to come out and say, I'm the greatest rapper alive, I'm not the new Tupac, I'm the new Pac. <laughs> All that other garbage. Now look at the dude. Who, like, now he's going to prison for 10 years, from what I'm hearing. And I'm pretty sure he's going to prison for 10 years. I don't care what Lil Wayne, I posted that on Twitter. A couple people say, oh, you're just happy. Are you happy? Do you get off on people's misfortunes? Well... The dude broke the law. He had illegal gun possessions, illegal drugs possessions, okay? So, of course, he deserves it because he broke the damn law. He shouldn't be breaking the law. And not only that, no, I'm not laughing at him because his career is dying. I'm just pointing out the facts. Look, when was the last time Lil Wayne was ever really mainstream and relevant? Who was... The radio stopped playing his music. I don't hear nothing about Lil Wayne. Not his old stuff. Not his current stuff. Nobody cares. The only time you'll get any little bit of a like mainstream of attention is when he's hanging around with more popular artists. 
that's the only time, only time, him, same thing with Nicki Minaj. Drake is literally the only person in Young Money, which I still don't like, and I still think he suck. But he's the only person in Young Money that's making any noise, mainstream-wise. That doesn't need anybody. Drake can sell 100 millions of records off his name alone. Because it's Drake. I don't know why people still listen to that douchebag. He doesn't need nobody. He doesn't need Wayne. He doesn't need Nicki. He damn sure doesn't need no damn Tyga. You don't need none of these people. They'll need Drake before he'll need those guys. He doesn't need Birdman. Drake is doing fine. I don't know if he's still with Cash Money Records. Maybe. No, I think what is it OVO Records. I think now he's signed with them guys. So I don't think he's with Cash Money Records anymore. Lil Wayne, man. That guy. Who, man. I, have, I, I can predict. When he gets out of prison, that guy is going to be so broke. He has no business booming in his name. Okay? His music is not selling. He hasn't sold any units, like real good units, since like 2013, 2014. He came out with one album or something or mixtape around like in 2013 or 14 or something. And this dude, he didn't like the, the album didn't sell as much as he envisioned. And then he gonna sit there and say something stupid. I took an underground approach. No, motherfucker. You only reason why it didn't sell that much records is because people are outgrowing Lil Wayne. The current generation are not looking for Lil Wayne anymore. People don't care about Lil Wayne. As far as rap fans of this generation, the younger generation, don't care about Lil Wayne. All the 20 year olds, all the teenagers, the, the younger kids, even the older people don't care about Lil Wayne. Because all the older people outgrew Lil Wayne a long ass time ago. They're tired of him. They don't want to hear gun up to your face makeup. You know, other garbage like if you don't understand me, then stay under me. <laughs> no one want to hear that. No one want to hear that. I'm spicy like Big Red. I'm hot like Sims. <laughs> I feel the proof the white neck feel like I'm a dinos. I get paid under the hour. A B C D E F G H I J No, nobody wants to hear that flaming horse shit. And this whole gang banging stuff, oh man. Once Lil Wayne goes to prison, because I think he's gonna go to the normal prison. When them inmates find Lil Wayne, they're gonna chew him out. The bloods are gonna come after him because he's fake claiming. The cribs are gonna come after him because well, you're a blood, right? You're a, you're a blood. And he, I don't think he's going to survive in prison. He's probably going to hang himself with a shoelace or something. Or he's going to be somebody's bitch. And people are going to make all the rumors in prison. How he got booty raped in prison. How he's somebody's bitch. Oh, man. It ain't going to be Lil Wayne no more. It's going to be Lil Wendy or something. I don't know, man. That dude is going to be exposed. Big Bubba is going to have fun with that dude. Man. He ain't no better than Takashi 6 9 The only difference is that Lil Wayne does a snitch and brags about it. And speaking about Takashi 6 9 Lil Wayne also, I'm sure, inspired that fucking goofball too. Man, Lil Wayne has killed rap music. Lil Wayne was one of the reasons why I can't stand this stupid genre anymore. I can't listen to it because it's so terrible. Because of all the rappers that Lil Wayne inspired for over the years... My gosh, look at these rappers today. I'm not even going to get into the... I'm not even going to talk about that. But, yeah, Lil Wayne, he still sucks. He fails. And now look at Lil Wayne. He's overrated and he's no more. He's going to jail for 10 years. And when he comes out, he's going to be so fucking broke. He's probably have to go file in for freaking bankruptcy. That's what's going to happen. Okay? And he's going to be exposed in prison if he goes to a normal prison cell.